Hello everybody. Got a new quick video for you. I've created a Galaxy version of the Shiny app I did for feature selection. So I'll show you that. Hopefully this camera angle is not going to be too wacky. Let's see. Okay. Just to remind you, here's the Shiny app. Upload a data set. Run our ranker algorithms. Snip rank's a little slow. Well, it's regain plus snip rank. Starting to worry me. There we go. Okay, so this is the Shiny app. Naturally, it's interactive. We can take some of these things out if we need to. Put them back. So it's interactive in quotes. Okay. Looks like it's running everything again. That should be caching these results because nothing's changed for them. I'll have to look into that. Anyway, that's the Shiny app. I'm going to show you the Galaxy version. So here's Galaxy. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I've cleared out my history here. There's nothing here. So we need to get some data into the system. So I'm going to upload a file. I will choose the same file that I had for the Shiny app. And okay, we're just going to let it auto detect it. Start the upload. See over here it goes to my history. It goes to yellow. In the process, green, we're ready to go. We'll go over here to the the in silico tools and there's one here at the very bottom hope you can see that that says RN Bix expression feature selection run regression gain on a data set oops got the same label as this one anyway we'll get the tool so here's the tool we can pick a data set there's only one that's qualifying right now in my history. This has to be a tabular file. It's a tabs limited file with the class in the last column. So you can see here we can pick any or all the algorithms. So we've got checkboxes similar to the Shiny app. Obviously, code is different, but anyway. Um, I've got a little option here I haven't implemented yet that says uh, do you want all the results or do you want each result separately. The idea is separately you could have these lists all go to your history one at a time so you could evaluate them separately say for uh, gene set enrichment or something like that. Or do you want them all in one file? may want to take them into another program or into Excel and work with them that way. Anyway, I thought it was a good idea. I don't have the parameters set up for these yet, the conditional parameters, so when you click one of these, you should get a little section that shows up for the parameters. It works similar to Shiny, so I'll, I'll add that too. So, here's the demo. Does it, is it going to work? So, it's running. running it 
this is running on my local computer. Okay, we got a green sign. So that means it ran. Looks like if we got our little preview looks good. Let's hit the eyeball. See what it looks like. There we go. So that should look very similar to these. Shiny Galaxy. It's up to you. Of course I've written a program that will take something that's in Galaxy and put it into Shiny for visualization, but I don't have any really a way to go backwards from Shiny back to Galaxy yet. Though that can be done using the R Galaxy package for part of this and there's still a lot to learn but thought you might get a kick out of this seeing it compared to the shiny app alrighty see you later